and welcome to NTV at 4. I'm Smriti Vidyarthi Mohindra with the latest at this hour. Now it seems like it has been a day of land tussles. Business was disrupted this morning within Nairobi's Grogan area and surroundings as Joakali artisans engaged police in running battles over occupancy of a plot from where they carry out their business. Now the workers were protesting a move to evict them from the piece of land which has been the center of a court battle at the Milimani courts between them and the Jamia Mosque committee. <laughs> Documents obtained by NTV show that in September last year, lawyers of the Jamia Mosque Committee and those of the workers agreed to a consent that would see the workers move off the land. But some are still doing business on that said piece of land, saying they have nowhere else to go. Now, auctioneers have been sent to evict them out. Already, the police have arrested several of them as the demonstrations continued into the afternoon. Well, in the meantime, Nairobi Governor Dr. Evans Kidero vowed to protect the rights of the mechanics. This was after the angry mechanics demonstrated outside the governor's office. Kidero visited the controversial plot earlier today. <laughs> Nataka <laughs> Now, pastoral communities in northern Kenya have for a long time depended on the institution of elders for administration and good governance. Efforts to address high poverty levels and cattle rustling are still a major challenge and to respond to it, sports has become key. Our reporter Lolani Kalu covered the Com Peace race in Laisamis, which is also used to select a team for the annual Lewa Marathon. It's it. Go! The Com Peace Marathon was flagged off by Deputy County Commissioner Mutuku Mwenga at Merile, 21 kilometers from Laisamis, Marsabit County. Five community conservancies were represented. Melako Conservancy comprising of the Rendile community, Sera Conservancy comprising of the Samburu community, Biligo Bulesa comprising of the Borana community, Nakuprat Goto comprising of the Turkana community, and Kalama Conservancy comprising of the Samburu community. The teams arrived the day before the marathon took place and interacted at night to create cohesion between different communities. Tunajaribu kushikanisha hii community tatu. Community hizi zinaishi pande huu wa Northern Kenya. The event is held annually in order to promote peace and cohesion between the communities and it is slowly becoming a major tourist attraction. We also had another option of a cultural event this evening 
and we decided that the marathon would be a wonderful opportunity because it's something that uh, is unique. My song shall be near my God to thee. Today they've arrived like 60 people, so at least we'll be having like 200, 300 people. We are ready now. We had the camp and the teams are ready. See you there. It is a build-up for the upcoming Lewa International Marathon to be held later this month. Home is the common grazing area for the Borana, Rendile and Samburu communities from Merti, Laisamis and Samburu East Districts. And we are in the rest. High poverty levels, cattle rustling, weakening traditional institutions and lack of coordinated efforts to address these problems are some of the major challenges facing the pastoralists of Northern Kenya. We tracked Idris Jilo Ali who set a fast pace leaving the rest of the runners far, far behind. Jilo is a Borana from Biliko Conservancy, determined to retain the Borana Bull first prize. Com Inter Warriors Peace Building Marathon is just but one of the proposed strategies to promote and restore peace and cohesion in the region. The Com Peace Building Marathon aims at promoting friendly interactions among the young men from various communities in conflicts, as well as creating forums where peaceful coexistence could be instilled to young people. No registration fee is charged to the participants and most of them were barefooted throughout the 21 kilometers harsh terrain of northern Kenya. And indeed, Idris made it number one, clocking one hour, 14 minutes, 44 seconds. Ni a bit challenge, lakini ni meweza ku... 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 ni meweza kuwa raisi kwangu. Josephat Lekoloi from the Samburu community came second, clocking one hour, 36 seconds. Two and a half hours later, Alice Lerabore did it pride for the girls. She was followed some few seconds later by Zaida Damal and Newaya Toruga, all of them from Rendile community. Number? Number 64. Number 64. <laughs> 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 NTV, Laisamis, Marsabit County. Well, he looked like he was about to collapse, but just to let you know, he survived that run. Well done, Lalani. That's where we leave it on NTV at 4. Thanks for watching. I'm Smriti Vidyarthi Mohendra. Have yourselves a good afternoon. Bye-bye.